Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Thwip Side and another episode of Side Notes. As always, I'm AJ, and today I wanted to talk about WandaVision and just share my reaction to the whole series now that it's over. Now, I know the finale just finished up and wrapped up the series yesterday, so I'm going to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, but there may be minor spoilers, so I just wanted to put that warning out there before we get going. Honestly, when they first released trailers for this show... I was not impressed at all. I just thought it was really weird, and I was just like, what the hell is this show going to be about? But I went in to watch it anyway with an open mind, and I was pleasantly surprised. Being a fan of classic TV, I was really entertained by the first episode, um, even though it was weird. But I found myself, by the end of that first episode, thinking I could watch a show just like this forever. I'm a big fan of Dick Van Dyke. I was a big fan of Bewitched. So my initial thoughts were, yeah, this is really weird and bizarre, but I uh, have no problem. I could watch a whole series if it just stayed in the black and white realm. And being a fan of sitcom fan in, in general, um, I loved the transitions through all the eras of sitcoms. It was just really entertaining to me. And, of course, we know that wasn't all really what it was all about. You had all the mysterious stuff, especially f- through the first few episodes, that kept me intrigued. So, yeah, I, but I really dug the creativity of the show, especially when it was going through all the sitcom eras. The show introduces some new characters to the MCU for their MCU debuts, such as Wanda's children. Um, I know one of them is supposed to be who eventually turns into, becomes Wiccan, but unfortunately I not have ever really caught up, kept up on uh, Scarlet Witch in the comics, so I don't know who her other son is supposed to become. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool addition, although for those who've watched the whole series, a bit sad. We also get Monica Rambeau, who becomes Photon, and again, I apologize, I don't know anything about the Photon character, but any new characters into the MCU, I'm all for, and I like this character, I liked Monica in the show, so I'm interested to see where she'll turn up next, and I'm looking forward to it. She was really cool, especially her powers are interesting to me. And then, of course, you probably got what is the most important new character, especially in regards to this show, Agatha Harkness. I know of her from Fantastic Four by being a Fantastic Four fan. Kind of an obscure character, but I thought she was really cool. I didn't see her being revealed as Agatha Harkness leading up to it, and I just loved all the the role she played leading up to it as the nosy neighbor. Very funny, very entertaining, and very classic sitcom tv uh i will say that i was kind of bummed because of her reveal to be agatha harkness i was thinking maybe we get a fantastic four cameo or something or reed richards so that kind of bummed me out we didn't get that but she's a really cool character in the show and i hope to see more of her as well A pleasant surprise for me was the inclusion of Darcy and Jimmy Woo into the show. Uh, I really love these two characters and all the movies that they appear in. They're hilarious to me. They make me laugh. And I just thought it was great. Like I said, great surprise. And I love their arc in the whole WandaVision series. And I'm hoping to see them appear in other things because I love these two characters. It's great to see just like mere mortals have a role in uh, events. And these two guys are great. And I think they really played off of each other really well. And I would love to see these guys return somewhere else in another show, more movies. I did, I was, Jimmy Woo made me thought like maybe Ant Man would show up for more comic relief or something like that. But yeah, great surprising addition. Another fun addition to this show that I liked was the Halloween episode where they went out for trick-or-treat wearing classic versions of their superhero costumes. I just thought that was a fun little addition, and it was pretty funny. Big finale spoiler here, so skip ahead if you don't want to hear about it. 
Uh, I just want to say that I really liked what happened with White Vision and uh, made me feel good. It gives us a chance for Vision to show up in the future. Uh, I have my theories about that. And I'm hoping that Wanda runs into him in the future. And I was really excited for this chance for Vision to live on in the MCU. Now, even though there was a lot that I loved about this show, there were some disappointments. Unfortunately, I think that might have had to do with hype and leaks and things. And I find that a lot of times shows just can't live up to that. But there is one major disappointment for me. And this is Marvel's fault, and it's almost like they slapped us in the face. Which for me would be the introduction of the Fox Universe Quicksilver and doing absolutely nothing with him. And pretty much just making him a regular guy under Agatha's control. I mean, this is just such a huge letdown. I mean, I haven't been that much, uh, much into X-Men for a long time. I just... Don't like the direction they keep messing around with it and i haven't really followed the x-men much but i did watch those movies they're not that great but i still like them but i'm not heavy into them but this would have been their chance to start getting the x-men into the mcu and i think they just totally wasted this opportunity unless they're thinking of some doing something that i just don't see yet but yeah Big disappointment for me, and I'm sure it's a big disappointment for a lot of people. Just a total waste, and it was hyped up, and yeah, that was just a slap in the face, and you can't blame fans if they're upset about this. My total take on the series is that I found it really creative, really well done. I love the special effects. I love the characters for the most part, and I was really entertained, and I enjoyed it. Um, most of the things that I felt let down about were due to the hype and the leaks and all of that. So that's not really the show's fault. Um, unfortunately we live in a world where we're bombarded with information and speculation. And so it's very difficult for a show to live up to all of that. But if I can pass, um, just dismiss the things I was hoping for and just taking what we got, I would say this is a really good show and I really enjoyed it. Um, do I wish we had the things like Dr. Strange, like the rumors of Dr. Strange, um, hints of we heard maybe Fantastic Four. We've heard so many characters might show up in this show. Yeah, it would have been awesome to see them. And there was no surprise like Mandalorian Luke Skywalker moment, but that's just fan hype that we we do to ourselves. So just taking what we got besides the Quicksilver not being used really that well at all. And that was totally on them. I fault them for that. Um, they kind of really um, screwed us on that, I think. And just they did a terrible job in that aspect. But the rest was incredible. And I'm going to sit on it for a little bit. And I'll probably binge watch it. But yeah, I really like the show. And I can't wait for Falcon and Winter Soldier. That's the next up for the MCU TV. And if it's as good as this, I'm sure it'll be a lot different type of show. But if it's as good as this, I will be happy. The MCU to me seems to not be able to do anything wrong. It's weird. I enjoy like it all. Captain Marvel was a low point for me. I didn't really enjoy that one too much. But there was still good stuff to be found. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, um, feel free to comment and tell me what you thought of the show and don't forget to thwip that notification bell and I will catch you all again back here on the thwip side.